the flat. This week... Christmas greetings. This is United Press correspondent Henry Gorell, somewhere on the Western Front, wishing you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year on behalf of the soldiers of the press the world over. This is a time of the year, even on battlefronts, when our thoughts turn momentarily to those who are far away from us. Thoughts that are prevalent, especially on a battlefield, where a man gets to know the values of life. Well, as a Christmas present to you from the soldiers of the press, I'd like to tell you a story, a Christmas story, which typifies the camaraderie of the fighting yank on the world battlefronts. We can't say it happened factually, but we can say it happened and is happening, can say it happened and is happening spiritually most every day this holiday season on every battlefront where our boys are fighting. The scene opens on a dark night. Confound this confounded infernal snow. By heavens, I... I told you, General, you shouldn't have come out here. What do you mean, shouldn't have come out here? Listen, Gorell, I'm the general of this army. Confounded, it, it, it's Christmas time. Yeah, I know, sir, but the men won't like it when they see you exposing yourself like this. Huh? How are they going to know it's me? I've got an old campaign coat on, no insignia. Say, uh, you won't give me away, will you, Gorell? At Christmas time, sir? Of course not. <laughs> Down, sir! Stop saying, sir! Yes, sir. Uh, I mean, yes. Well, come on. We're heading for that frontline foxhole over there. Right behind you, sir. Keep down low, sir. For the love of the great pink-toed prophet, stop saying, sir. Okay, General, okay. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Divine. Oh, what Divine. fun it is to ride. Say, Sarge. Oh, so Sarge. Will you do me a favor? What's on your mind, Private? There's nothing on my mind, but yours is sitting on my foot. Will you please get your carcass off? Look, where's your Christmas spirit anyway? Ah, uh, this dang foxhole ain't big enough for two, much less one. Shall we dance, then? Maybe we can make more room, huh? None of your lip, Private. None of your lip now. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Sergeant. Okay, same to you. And if you want to enjoy it, keep your eye on that outpost up there. You know, this reminds Shut me... Shut up. Look. Where? Over there. Something's coming our way from our own lines. Germans? I don't know. But we'll soon find out. Yeah. Maybe it's two of the three wise men, huh? Maybe they got a present for us, maybe, huh? Well, how about you being the third wise man, huh? Cover them. Okay, son. Here they come. Yeah. Halt! Who goes there? Henry Gorrell, United Press. And a uh, soldier. For the love of Pete, two more guys. What is this? Come on in, pal. What is it? Thanks. <laughs> Drop a Boy. chair in the parlor. Chair in the parlor. Who's the boyfriend? Oh, him? Uh, just another GI. Uh, here, let me give you a hand. <clears throat> uh, quit shoving, will you? And stay down. <clears throat> well, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. You want to get us all killed at Christmas time, too? It's huh? all right now. You two are taking an awful chance. What'd you come all the way out here for? Uh, probably looking for reindeers, that's why. Well, I thought I'd make your rounds, see what you guys are thinking about at Christmas time. What am I thinking about? <laughs> I'll give you three guesses. Home, perhaps? No. Your best girl? No. Yourself? Wise guy, huh? Well, you're all off base, eh? <clears throat> uh, well, uh, what are you thinking about? Well? Well? Santa Claus, you drips. Noble sentiment, Sergeant. Yeah, me too. Noble sentiment. Hey, get him. Oh, that's nothing. Just a bottle of wine. Swig, Private? Sure, thanks. Hey, the General's private stock, huh? <laughs> just, just a little Christmas cheer I uh, picked hey, up. Uh, that's enough, Private. That's enough. Take it easy, Sarge. Drink, Drink Pop? Eh? Oh, yes, yes, I will, thanks. Uh, what are you thinking about, uh, Private? <sighs> Oh? Here you are, Sergeant. I've been thinking oh, a lot thanks. about the folks back home. <laughs> but right now, you know what I'm thinking about? <laughs> Get down! You're doggone tootin', I know what you're thinking about. 
And it ain't a house because houses don't wear lipstick. Give him a chance, Sergeant. Yes, give the boy a chance. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Well, go ahead, pretty boy, go ahead. Well, I'm just thinking how little it takes to make a G.I. happy. Now, look at Pop here. Uh, He ain't got no business fighting. He ought to be home. Yeah, and look at Sarge and and Gorel. What are you getting at, Private? What are you getting at? Look at me, for instance. This lousy hole in the ground ain't fit for most pigs. But I'm sure glad to be in it. Out of the way of those German 88s. Say, you got something there, Private. Indeed he has. Uh, Say, Pop, you ain't been saying much. What's on your mind? Uh, Well, for one thing, we could all be deader than hell, but we're still alive, and that's Christmas present enough for me. Hey, go down, everybody, go down. Santa Claus don't like you, Pop. Yeah. <clears throat> Perhaps you're right. Yeah. Yeah, and how come you're in this army at your age? You ought to be a general, Pop. Yeah, uh, me? Uh, well, uh, <clears throat> I, uh, I was drafted early. That's right, boys. Pop just looks old, but he gets around. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah you're all right, Pop. But I still say you look like sure, a Sure, sure, he's all right. Come on, everybody. It's Christmas, uh... Let's kick around jingle bells, huh? Okay, boys, that's a good <laughs> Jingle idea. bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride a one horse open day. Pop, we better get going. Going? Oh, oh yes. Ah, oh, stick around. We'll be relieved any minute now. Yeah. I sure would like to get back in one of them shacks. Maybe I got some Christmas presents. Well, why don't you stop off with us? Uh, hey, that's an idea. We got a little wine. We got turkey, cigarettes. Cigarettes? Brother, it's a pleasure. A pleasure. Fine, fine. Okay, boys. Uh, 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 wait a minute. I just remembered something. Yeah, me too. The old man. The yeah. uh, old man? The general. He'd probably skin us alive if he knew about this. Ah, <clears throat> oh, what are you talking about? General's a good egg. You get to know him, especially around Christmas time. So's a tiger. Well, <clears throat> well I, uh, I believe your relief's coming, boys. Oh, pickle puss. Well, anyway, here's to him. A Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year. <clears throat> oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle, jingle all the way. <laughs> Boy, was that close. One day next Christmas, I'm going to finish that song. <laughs> well, boys, here we are. What do you mean, here we are? Yeah. G.I.s don't bunk in swell places like this. <clears throat> well, well uh, see, it's not exactly swell. A bunch of us correspondents stay here. Uh-huh. Well, looks like a brass hat's joint to me. Ah, we ain't used to houses. <laughs> what are you talking about? Pop comes in with me all the time. Don't you, Pop? Why, uh... Well, yeah. what do you say? This is Christmas time, you know. Sure. Come on in, boys. Well, if Pop goes, I'll take a chance. Me too. Fine. Well, walk in, gentlemen. After you, newspaper man. After you, Pop. Good yeah, good. How about you, Sergeant? Don't you know any good ones? Sure he does. Tell him the one about the horse. Yeah, let's hear it, Sergeant. <laughs> okay. Well, back in our farm in Jersey, my father was driving home in his buggy one Christmas Eve when the horse suddenly stopped. He turned his head and said, Mr. Haynes, he said, Mr. Haynes, I've worked for you a long time, and I just wanted to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. <laughs> <laughs> well, sir, well... <laughs> My pop and his dog jumped down off that buggy and ran all the way up to the top of the mountain. <laughs> and, and when they sat down to rest, 
Pop said to himself, well, what do you know about that? The horse talked. <laughs> and and the dog turned to Pup and said, Amazing, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, I give you a toast. A toast. A toast. toast. To the folks back home. To the folks, to the folks back, back, home. back home. Back home. Yeah. Yeah, that that we're fighting for. Well, <laughs> I got two Christmas presents. <clears throat> uh, lucky boy, Sergeant. Yeah, three if you count the GI pack of cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> what were the first two, Sarge? Well, I got a box of candy and some stationery. Yeah. How are you gonna write me, buddy? You're too busy ducking bullets. Yeah. Yeah, maybe someday though. You know, uh, Christmas means a lot to us on the fighting fronts. It's home and the folks. Yeah. Home and the folks. Well, gentlemen, let's wish them all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. A Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas and a, and a happy, happy, New happy New Year. Year. Like Henry Corral on the Western Front, United Press correspondents the world over are covering the battlefronts, giving you an intimate, humanized picture of the men in uniform. Daily, the UP reporters record exciting stories of bravery and daring. We will bring you another thrilling story of these soldiers of the press soon. Be sure to listen. Listen to United Press News on the air. Look for United Press dispatches in your favorite newspaper. They are your guarantee of the world's best coverage of the world's biggest news.